Welcome to our meditation for the first day of Holy Week. Our reading comes to us from Mark chapter 11, verses 12 to 23, and verses 27 to 33. Now the next day, as they went out from Bethany, he was hungry. After noticing in the distance a fig tree with leaves, he went to see if he could find any fruit on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. He said to it, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. Then they came to Jerusalem. Jesus entered the temple area and began to drive out those who were selling and buying in the temple courts. He turned over the tables of money changers and the chairs of those selling doves, and he would not permit anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. Then he began to teach them and said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have turned it into a den of robbers. The chief priests and the experts in the law heard it, and they considered how they could assassinate him, for they feared him, because the whole crowd was amazed by his teaching. When evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. In the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. Jesus said to them, have faith in God. I tell you the truth. If someone says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. They came again to Jerusalem. While Jesus was walking in the temple courts, the chief priests, the experts in the law, and the elders came up to him and said, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do these things? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. John's baptism. Was it from heaven or from people? Answer me. They discussed with one another, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? But if we say from people, they feared the crowd, for they all considered John to be truly a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We don't know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Here are the questions for reflection. If Jesus were to cleanse the church today, what do you suppose he would have issue with? What do these stories tell you about what really angers Jesus? The fig tree incident? the activity in the temple. What do these events tell you about Jesus? What do these stories tell you about pretending? The fig tree pretended to have fruit but did not. The temple supposedly a place of prayer but was not. What are the faith pretenses that you are holding up? Pretending to know, pretending that you engage in, pretending that you give, pretending that you believe. Whatever the pretenses are, I think it is clear from both incidents that there is no pretense with Jesus. Jeremiah 17 verse 10 says, I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct, according to what their deeds deserve. So if there is no pretense and no need to pretend, because Jesus will know and knows who we are because Jesus searches our heart and examines our minds. Why not just be open, truthful, 
and sincere. Let us pray. God of truth, help me to live a life free of pretending. Let me be sincere in all that I do and say. Help me to not be hypocritical, presenting as one person, but someone different on the inside. Help me to live authentically with others and worship you in spirit and in truth. Amen.